Hello again, Stephen here from Abbey Spring. I want to talk to you about reverse osmosis. This is the second basic filtration system uh, that we use in our water coolers. Uh, and when we do, basically you add this filter right here. This is the membrane itself. You unwrap it and you put it inside this housing. Uh, the system would then be a three-stage system. We'd have the same uh, sediment filter that we have in standard filtration and the same carbon filter and then we would finish with this filter right here. Um, this actually does something completely different than what uh, sediment and carbon does. The carbon again gets out all the volatile organic chemicals or the gaseous uh, taste issues and the chlorine and trihalomethanes and all that. This actually is a, it's an amazing process, um, almost mysterious. Um, it uh, takes out dissolved solids from the water and sometimes if your water is uh, high in total dissolved solids uh, it's called TDS uh, has minerals or other items in it uh, even lead or um, other substances uh, that are dissolved in there this membrane will get those out and it filters water mechanically down to smaller than virus and that's extremely teeny tiny and the mysterious part is is that it takes those things out uh, like the lead and the nitrites and the nitrates and other things that may or may not be in your water but it'll do that but it will let the water molecules go through and the water molecules are actually larger than the things that it's taking out. And so that's sort of the mysterious part of it. Uh, in our industry, you go from standard our standard filtration, which is sediment and carbon, that's called filtered water. When you go to reverse osmosis, you actually go up a whole nother level in filtration, a whole nother category, and it's called purified water. And this water is is definitely that. It's purified water. It's extremely pure. Uh, it's the same process that's used to make uh, Aquafina and uh, Dasani water. They use uh, St. Louis City water and run it through huge membranes uh, and put it in the bottle. And if that's what you need, uh, or if you have a, maybe a medical situation, uh, immune compromised system, uh, people who are on uh, chemo uh, for cancer are very sensitive to bacteria and other fluctuations in the water and in the environment. And if you need that, or if you just want the best water you can possibly get, then you would choose to use reverse osmosis in your system. Now we have um, much more detailed articles on our website. That's www.abbyspring.com. Or if you want to talk about it, uh, to see if which system you should use for your uh, particular circumstance, then give me a call. Call Stephen. That's me at 800-844-0448. Thank you. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.